Hey guys, welcome back, real fam. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're not new. I'm gonna talk a little bit about something real quick. Can't stay long because I'm in the middle of uh, cooking breakfast for the kiddos and whatnot. I just wanna talk about something really quick. This probably happens to everyone at some point. But um I've been going through these feelings of well that's kind of been the case. I've been going through these feelings where sometimes I get tired of being a goody two shoes. Do y'all know what I mean? Like sometimes you you wish you had a little bit more adventure in your life as far as like um you know stuff to talk about. I do wild ass stories everyone um, has about their lives, you know, these wild parties they've been to, these experiences they've seen and done and all that. Eh, sometimes I just, well, sometimes I feel like I'm just tired of being so good, because I've always been the goody two-shoes, but I also know I have the potential to turn the other way, you know, if I hung around the wrong people long enough, but that's probably everyone. Sometimes I just get this feeling that, um, this probably happens to everyone. This probably happens to everyone who hasn't had much of a life, in a way. Um, it just hits me really hard sometimes, like, man, I wish I could do this, I wish I could do that. You know, sometimes you wish for more sexual experiences. Sometimes you wish you could go to this place, go to this place, and go to that place. But... I'm smart enough to know that in reality, none of this shit matters. None of this shit's important. It's all an illusion, you know? I know many people have been through the things that I'm explaining and they're like, it's really not all that, don't do it. I'm aware of that. That's been happening to me forever. You know, I'm not stupid, of course. Everybody sometimes wishes to be on the other side of life. When your current life gets kind of boring and redundant, and you seem like you're just, you know, only a mom, or you're only a parent, or you're only this, or you're only that, and you're just doing your mundane thing. I'm sure that shit happens to everybody. You know, especially the really good goody two-shoes type people. People like me who are like geeks, nerds, and people who don't really do anything bad, per se. Um, yeah, I'm sure it happens, and sometimes it, it gets to me. Even regarding this poly thing, sometimes it gets to me. Sometimes I wish, sometimes I wish um, my marriage was more open. But I know that's going to cause some drama. I already know it will cause major drama, so it's like, why am I even desiring this? Sometimes I question myself, like, why am I even desiring to do some of these things? But I already know what it is. It's natural. It's human nature. We all get that way. We all sometimes want something that we can't have, or we want something that we know is not good for us to have. I know very damn well it's not good for me to step out of my marriage or divorce just to experience some things, you know what I mean? Experience other people sexually and experience another side of life. And Deep down, I know it's not worth it. Technically, I know that. I know that. I mean, I'm 33 years old. I better not even try to step out there like that. I have five kids. Um, there's no reason for me to crave that type of life. I mean, yeah, there's a reason. Everybody, everybody's life gets redundant sometimes. And you just wish for a little spice, you know? When your life does not have that spice, you kind of just go for, I don't know why, but sexuality is like the first thing you kind of gravitate towards. That's most people. You want a new relationship, you know? Of course, you want to go somewhere, you want to travel, you want to do those types of things. But the mo the main thing people gravitate towards is relationships because that's the easiest thing to get a hold of. Well, sometimes. You know, especially like one night stands and threesomes and foursomes and orgies and whatnot. Those are easy to obtain, you know. <laughs> um, That club life, that promiscuous club life is easy to obtain for most people, you know. But that's what people jump into because, yeah, having a new relationship is exciting. Probably having sex with a new person is probably exciting, at least for the moment. 
until they end up disappointing you in bed. Um, it's probably just exciting in the beginning. But for the long run, you know a shit's not really exciting because it's, that gets kind of boring. And then you're just filling yourselves with you're filling yourself with different people, different people's you know souls and germs and energies and uh. -uh. So you know, as much as I want to sometimes step out a little bit in life, I always come back around and really, really, really think about it some more before I go do something stupid because. A lot of people, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people, like me, feel they have the potential to not be such a good at two-shoes. But is it worth it? That's the question. Is it really worth it? A majority of the time, no, it's not worth it. I already know it's not. The moment I do something, my conscience is going to be eating at me. I just, I can't. I feel, I've said this before in my alter ego video. Probably. I feel like I've already experienced those things, you know, in another uh, lifetime or whatnot. I feel like I've already experienced a little crap. Okay, my eyes are burning today. I was just acting up real bad. Um, I feel like I've already experienced a lot of those things from my past life. So, I don't know if those are trying to resurface because of that, you know? I don't know if I'm like kind of remembering some things I used to do and I kind of want to relive that again. Or it's just this current life I'm dealing with and it's just boring and mundane and I kind of want to spice it up, you know? Could be a little bit of both. You all know I'm bisexual. I still have not been with a woman. Um, we still don't have a woman. <laughs> so that gets to me, it's like, okay, sometimes I get in that mood where it's like, alright, whatever I got to do to get a woman, I'm going to do it. You know, regardless of if she wants to be with my husband or not, sometimes I get in that mode like, you know, maybe I should just date a woman and not him. And he gets his own woman. I don't know. I just sometimes my mind just be going, go to places, you know. If you think long enough on the wrong side of the track, then yeah, your mind will go there. I've had those moments where I wanted to date alone. Just because it's easier to find someone for myself and let him find someone for himself. But then again, we don't have a marriage after that. I talked about it before. I know we won't have a marriage after that because it's pointless for us to get two separate people. But it's hard. It's hard trying to obtain someone that we both like and someone that both likes us. It just has not been easy. It just has not been easy. Can't find that shit for nothing. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes I just get discouraged. Like, man, I still want a woman really, really, really bad. But I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I have to wait till the kids are older. You know, wait till the kids are grown so it'll be easier. And I won't have to worry about, you know, how they're going to affect them and, you know, what they're going to think about it, blah, blah, blah. You know, I don't know. Maybe I should just put down this poly thing for now and just keep focusing on my family. But I'm tired of focusing on my family sometimes. I get tired, y'all. I'm sure you can imagine. Deal with five kids every day and homeschooling. <sighs> y'all, sometimes I just, I just get tired 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 or it's like okay i'm tired of dealing with kids y'all in my face 24 7 y'all know we don't have much help with that we don't have babysitters we don't have people the kids can just go hang with for a weekend or so we don't have none of that no summer vacations where they can just go to someone else's house for a while we ain't got none of that so life gets really really redundant i don't really have friends like that yeah i have internet friends but that's just about it um i don't have friends where i can go visit i don't have friends to come visit me really um it just gets kind of blah it's just me and my husband majority of the time just us being each other's best friends that's all i have um grateful for that but i'm still missing a woman i'm still missing a woman I'm still missing those, those energies I'm still sometimes craving to not be so good not just sit here in my marriage and just remain good you know just keep having my morals because I do have morals of course sometimes I just want to throw those morals out the window I'm not going to lie sometimes I just do I want to take my morals and my conscience and throw it out the damn window <clears throat> I'm sure y'all can relate I'm not the only one feeling this way I already know I'm not the only one feeling this way a lot of housewives feel like this it's like you just want to be like fuck it just scrap it just do uh, get rid of it all do it hey 
throw the kids in school and just say fuck it. But guess what? This coronavirus, I can't put the kids in school now, even if I wanted to, because the schools are shut down. Everybody's doing virtual learning, so you know, kind of fine. The thing we set out doing, we've been homeschooling the kids since birth, and there ain't no way we can even put them in school now anyway. So it's like, it's kind of a good thing that we didn't attempt to do that. But at the same time, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I am stuck, yo. I can't even put these kids in school if I wanted to. I don't want to, but even if I wanted to, even if I fucking had to, I can't now. Because of the pandemic, now, yeah, I can't. <laughs> So even if I wanted to just put the older ones in school for a little while, so we were contemplating that, even if we wanted to do that, mm -mm. it ain't gonna happen now. The virus can ruin that, so now I feel even more confined and more obligated, you know, trying to, <sighs> it's rough, y'all, so I just want to say fuck it, but I can't. I chose to be here, I chose to have these kids, I chose to do this, I can't just give it up. For a temporary wildlife that I know is not going to be let, it's not going to last. It's just fleeting, and it'll get me nowhere in the long run. And it'll just disappoint my husband and kids. And yeah, essentially, I won't get anywhere with that. I already know that. It's just a temporary excitement. You all know that, so. Okay. I just wanted to talk about that. Um, so, as much as I'm. A goody two shoes. I can't stop being a goody two shoes. At least not now. Nowhere, nowhere soon. I mean, no time soon. You know, I pretty much have to wait till the kids are practically teenagers and grown or out the house or something. I gotta wait till they're way older before I even attempt to ha even have a bit of a different life. You know what I mean? Because sometimes being a mom is just, you know, it gets kind of redundant. Doing the same old things. Same old things with your kids. Oh, I'm just being around the kids gets redundant. Always having to take care of them and buy food for them and take them to the park and library and homeschool and all that. It's, it's a lot. So yeah, you can't blame me for feeling this way. I'm sure other housewives, other stay-at-home moms feel this way. But yeah, I just feel like venting. I do feel a little better <laughs> after venting, so to go now and feed the blockhead kids. I made some oatmeal and I let it sit too long and now it's oh crap. Hope I didn't make too much. I'm gonna have to remedy that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that little rant. Let me know your comments and opinions down below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. If you're a stay home mom, like me, and you're feeling the same way, and you've been in that position before, let me know. Let me know how you feel and how you dealt with it. I have many ways on how to keep my mind, you know, in focus as far as family, and not veer off. Um, you know, and that's just, that's just what I do. This is what I gotta stick to for the time being, so. Yeah. I hope you guys are having a great day, second hour, minute, and month, and second. Thank you for watching. Peace out.